back, turning back, bringing all the lost souls on the right track. Victory parade from here to Baghdad. Jesus is the king and is coming back. Yeah, we're winning, we're winning from city to city. We're time conscious when the kick acts. We tell him we did it, redeeming lost souls. Yeah, we're guilty as child and body oppressed. Uh, it's victory at last. That's a time to heal, a time for peace, a time to mend, a time to speak, a time to reach, a time to preach, a time for everything. Yeah, the time has come, the time is now. Reach the hopeless before the sun is down. Get the word out before the trumpet sound. Listen closely, I hear. The second sound. Tick tock, time's ticking. I hear the cry of lost souls. My duty is to reach them. Flip flop, can't miss them. Against all odds, I do it for the Lord. I'm a rich em. And when they say no, we say yes. We take the gospel to the north, east, south, and the wild west. We're so vexed, we're gonna keep winning. Even if it's one second to the blast of the trumpet. What's up, everybody? It is Diligence of the Most High God. I pray that you are having an excellent and glorious day in the Lord. So today's video is going to be on commitment. Commitment. What is your commitment? What are you committed to? A lot of people are committed to their job, their families, their school, their homework, and all those kind of stuff. But today we're going to be talking about what is your commitment? My commitment is to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm going to read you something that I wrote, um, my definition on what commitment means. That was one of our homework for our royalty staff. And if you don't know what that is, that is basically our youth. Um, so I'm going to read you what I said, what commitment means. This is my definition. It is short, sweet, simple, and beautiful. <clears throat> okay, so. What does commitment mean to you? So this is what commitment means to me. Commitment means you got evicted. Evicted from the world and all its government systems. When trials arise, you faithfully stay persistent. You never fail to be consistent, to stay the course that you've been given. Fully persuaded, convicted because you caught the vision. Constantly running on a mission, raising up generations of men and women who will come into their inheritance to fulfill God's dream. Living with a purpose, therefore I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Absolutely resolute, pressing toward the mark of the prize. Greater is he that lives in me. Amen. A place where Christ becomes your everything. Spending countless times in prayer to make sure everything succeeds. Always producing excellence even behind the scenes fruitful and productive watering and planting seeds sacrifice time and money sometimes without sleep endure hardness like a good soldier in christ we lay aside every weight to make sure everyone's on that first flight unshakable unmovable indestructible preparing our hearts to meet god preparing for the gospel preparing for the house of God and preparing to meet God. We are committed to the gospel. We are committed to the work of the ministry. In God we trust, diligence. I just wanna say that it is so important to stay committed to what God has called you to do. Stay committed to the gospel and stay committed and faithful to anything that the Lord says concerning you. Literally, when you're committed to God's work, you wouldn't want to see yourself anywhere else. Like, I would sacrifice so much time to spend on, like, a project or meditation just to make sure that it is perfect and excellent. And it's because God deserves our very best. You know, Jesus, he died for us. He didn't just die um, for your sins. No, he died to give you a beautiful life in Christ. Sometimes, you know, like words like sophia songs words are not enough to praise you so i praise you it's my life i think i sang it wrong i did oh no 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 it's supposed to be like this words are not enough to praise you so i praise you with my life mighty god you are the greatest 
the greatest of oh, every promise you have kept god of mercy god of love i sing praises to your name hallelujah praise the lord okay i didn't know i was gonna sing that but i sang it and whew, now i need to breathe but anyways like being committed to the work like words is not enough to praise him so you praise him with your life it is very important to go to church church is the ground and pillar of truth church is for the perfecting of the saints church is not for perfect people okay when you go to church this is where god's plan is this is where you meet people to fellowship about god's word and fellowship iron sharpens iron when you fellowship with the brethren so it is important to go to church school right you go to school so you can learn you don't go to school for one day and be like okay i'm done with this school i don't want to go back no you go to school so you can learn and you can get that degree we're not trying to get our degree in christ all we're doing is learning about the word of god so we can be a success so we can go out there and win more souls to christ let me just tell you honey boo i love you and jesus loves you too and i think it is very it's time it's time for you to give your life to christ because literally when jesus comes back i want to make sure that you are there with me i want to make sure that you're there with me the bible says that people perish for the lack of knowledge some people you say hey you want to go to church and some of them are like uh-uh church is not for me thank you school to the left me i just cry because they're not rejecting me but they're rejecting jesus christ how can you reject jesus christ but anyways that is another day topic you know everybody has their spiritual growth but we're just here to inspire you and tell you like literally come to church be committed to the gospel because there's no other life you want to live than being committed to the word no other place you want to be than in christ there's no amount of money that can sacrifice my life for christianity like literally i lay my life down for the gospel my manager knows that i have to be at church on sundays so she she can't schedule me on sundays and if she did i love you but i probably would quit my job because that's how much i love the lord like i need to hear the word of god i need to grow in his word and that's why like even ministry events i try my best to move my world around just to be there like we're literally living our best life in christ period period i'm living my best life in christ doesn't matter what anybody says i know who i am i'm a champion i'm victorious and i'm making it to heaven mm. Mm -mm -mm. so i want to make sure that you're on that first flight with me but you know i love you i really do love you and that's what i wanted to share with you commitment and what it means to me because i'm committed to the gospel no trial no persecution will stop me from preaching this gospel that is why i started doing these videos was for you but i just want to say like all jokes aside commitment is very important where you spend your time and your money is very important spend your time giving into the house of god you know this book behind me the rhapsody of reality has been translated in over 3,000 languages and it is the number one daily devotional in the world yes the number one daily devotional written by our man of god pastor chris pastor chris is amazing you can find him on youtube download pcdl on your phone so you can listen to his messages but you know back to commitment it is so important and i just wanted to share with you like be committed to the work and his ministry but with that being said thank you so much for watching this video and i pray that you have an excellent and glorious day